watch Netflix show ever. It went number one in over 90 countries around the world and considering Netflix is available in 190 countries, I think that stat is pretty incredible. Personally, I think the show resonated with so many people because it talks about real stakes that people fundamentally understand, money and death. Now, if you haven't watched this show, I highly recommend it, but please do yourself a favor and watch it in Korean subtitled in the language of your choice, because otherwise I feel like it kind of loses its charm. Also, before continuing on with this video, bear in mind that this video will contain some light spoilers. The concept of this show is so interesting and not entirely dissimilar to a Mr. Beast video, bringing people together to compete for money, that is. Squid Game brings South Koreans facing extreme debt to an undisclosed location where they compete to win big money. What makes the game super interesting is that if you lose a game, you don't return to normal life, you die. As I mentioned, I think this show resonated with a lot of people because it's focusing around two very easy to understand concepts, money and death. And no matter where you are in the world, you generally understand these two concepts. Whereas shows that are based on fantasy, such as witches, wizards or gargoyle kings, I'm looking at you Riverdale, or shows based on lives of the ultra rich and famous or reality TV shows, these are just not as fundamentally understandable as money and death. There are high stakes at every single turn, making this show extremely gripping from start to finish. The games the contestants play are also childhood games, ringing bells for quite a lot of people. And even if you don't know what the games are, the concept is so easy that you get it in about five seconds. What's interesting about the high stakes is that the further along you go through the show, the higher the stakes get. And not only that, you also get an insight into the contestants' lives, which is so interesting. So you get attached to these contestants knowing that at the end of the day, most of them will die. I absolutely loved that this show was Korean. It's a huge win for representation in the film industry and watching it with English sub subtitles was actually so good for me. I don't know about you, but I do have a tendency to watch shows in the background whilst doing other things and I don't think that's the best idea. So being forced to really pay attention to what's happening on the screen just made me enjoy watching a show all that much more. This show plays a lot on people's morals because it's so simple that you can basically inject yourself into a person's shoes and think to yourself, well, what would I do in this situation? Would I betray a certain someone to get ahead and win instead of dying? Or would I react on fair is fair? Things started to get super intense when we saw the marbles game and for me that really crushed my spirit these pairs were formed out of people who trusted each other and in the thought that they were going to compete against other pairs and then seeing that these pairs were actually turned against each other was so heartbreaking i mean oh goodness that couple and then ali just so sad my highlights for this show are definitely the foreshadowing at the very beginning. I think it's so interesting how they foreshadow how each of the characters will die. And also, can we just take a moment to point out that these actors are all really attractive. Like, what the heck? My favorite character is player 067 and of course the main character, player 456. And I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce these names because I know I'm going to get them wrong. Because these two characters are my favorite, I had to draw them on my journal and this is how they turned out. So let's just recap all of the doodles that I drew. Starting from the left, we have the doll who turns around and says red light, green light. Then we have the Squid Game logo kind of symbol. We have the red and blue pouches to incentivize the contestants to play the game. We have the boxes that they get cremated in. We have the card to contact the game to actually play. The Dalgona challenge, we have the marble game challenge. Then we have the detective disguised as one of the guards. Then we have the triangle, the square, and the circle guards. And we have my two favorite players, 067, Thank you. 